Hello preschoolers, it's Mrs. Russell here again with you. So excited to be able to share some fun things with you today. Today is Thursday. I can't believe this week has flown by. It always goes by so fast, especially when it's nice outside, we can get outside. Okay, do you remember what we've been talking about this week? So those creepy, crawly things that some people like and some people don't like so much? Starts with the letter B, B, B. That's right, bugs. We're gonna talk more about some bugs today. And we're also going to review and talk more about our letter. Can you remember what it was? Capital D and lowercase d, that's right. We've loved seeing all the pictures you've been sending of the items, the things that start with the letter D sound and all the bugs you've been taking pictures of. Since we're talking about creepy crawly bugs, so let's get started, okay? So uh, one of the things you get to do today is make the numbers one through five with maybe some popsicle sticks. If you can't find popsicle sticks or you don't have any, you can use something else. Can you think of what else would work for that's similar to popsicle sticks? That word means kind of alike. What is kind of similar to popsicle sticks? Hmm. What about some Q-tips? Those things that you sometimes clean your ears out with? You could use those to make the numbers one through five on a table or on the floor. What else could you use? What about markers or crayons or pencils? Anything that's kind of like in a straight line would work. Maybe sticks outside can make the numbers. Okay, so we're super excited to see those. If somebody can take a picture of your numbers after you've made them with your sticks or Q-tips or whatever, we would love to see those. And you're also going to look for those numbers around your house. So see if you can find numbers one, two, three, four, and five around your house. What could it be on? Oh, I see my clock has a two and a three. So that would be, I already found two and a three. That was super fast. So maybe, oh, here's a book. I bet I could find some numbers in this book. Okay, here's one and five. It's really hard to see, but just look all over and see if you can find one through five, okay? Don't forget any of them, one through five. It could be inside, outside, anywhere you would like to look. Okay, so those are some of your activities today. Let's read our story. It's a super fun book called Old Black Fly. And it's by Jim Aylesworth and illustrations by Stephen Gamel. And it has super cool illustrations. Very cool. Old Black Fly has been Buzzing around, buzzing around, buzzing around. Old Black Fly's been buzzing around and he's had a very busy, bad day. I wonder what could have happened. He ate on the crust of the apple pie. What letter is that? Can you see it? Who said A? That's right, A for apple. He bothered the baby and made her cry. Shoe fly, shoe fly, shoe. Baby starts with the letter B. I wonder if we're gonna go through the alphabet. We've already had A, B. What do you think's gonna come next? He coughed on the cookies with the chocolate bits. Mmm, oh, those look good. Probably not so good after somebody's coughed on them though. He drove the dog nearly out of his wits. Shoe fly, shoe fly, shoe. Oh, poor puppy. Poor puppy dog, doesn't look so happy. He frolicked on the eggs for the birthday cake. He licked up the frosting for goodness sake. Shoe fly, shoe fly, shoe. Ooh, that's pretty pink frosting, but it's quite messy. He danced on the edge of the garbage sack. He got sweet honey on his dirty back. Shoe fly, shoe fly, shoe. Can you see him? Oh, the sunlight's kind of hard to see. Wipe my finger there. He says, uh-oh. He hid in the ivy by the kitchen sink. Can you see him? Can you spot him in the picture? Oh, I think I see him. He stole some jelly as quick as a wink. Shoe fly, shoe fly, shoe. That's a snake. 
spooky little flies and everything. He played on the keys by the kitchen door. He lit on the list for the grocery store. Shoe fly, shoe fly, shoe. There's the grocery list. He lapped up the milk in poor kitty's bowl. What letter does milk begin with? Mm, mm, M. Good job. He nibbled on the noodles in the casserole. Shoe fly, shoe fly, shoe, shoe. He crawled in the spills from the live oil can. He pestered the parrot on her stand. Shoe fly, shoe fly, shoe. Parrot. He snoozed on the quilt on Grandma's bed. Qua, qua. It's the same as Quinn, isn't it? He rode on. He rode the red ribbon on her head. Uh oh! Shoe fly, shoe fly, shoe. Does she look like she's um, very excited or happy about that? Not so much. He sniffed the salami on that Sister sliced. He ran around her tea cup, cup once or twice. Shoe fly, shoe fly, shoe. Oh, you're gonna think this one's funny. He slept on the stack of clean underwear. He played on the vase by the velvet chair. Shoe fly, shoe fly, shoe. He dozed on the window in the summer heat. He made a little X with his front feet. Shoe fly, shoe fly, shoe. See the X with his feet? Can you make an X with your fingers? Aren't the pictures in this book so fun? He buzzed about the yarn in Mama's lap. Ooh, look at all that colorful yarn. He landed on her table. Flip, flap, flap. Zzz. There he is. Can you spot him next to the flower vase? Oh my. Swat. Uh oh. What do you think happened? Old black flies done buzzing around. Buzzing around, buzzing around. Old black flies done buzzing around. And he won't be bad no more. What happened? You guys know what a fly sweater is. If you do, you probably know what happened. The end of Old Black Fly. Isn't that a fun story? I love the pictures in it. Okay, so we already talked about making your numbers one through five. And uh, we read our story, and I have a couple pages. Hopefully you still have your handwriting book. You, some of you probably still have a green color cover on yours, um, but this one ha doesn't have one. So some of you have the white cover, some of you have the green, but today you get to do two pages in your book, okay? So you get to do page 63, okay? Six, three, you see it? 63, so look on the bottom, find 63, okay? And do you know, recognize this man on this page? Lots of them, that sunlight's kinda hard to focus in. You recognize him? If you said Matt Man, that is correct. So today you get to trace all of the Matt Mans, okay? Remember how we start with the head, okay? Remember our Matt Man song? Matt Man has one head, one head, Matt Man has one body, one body. Maybe you can teach that to your parents. Maybe I'll try and see if I can attach that video, if I can find one for um, the Matt Man song. But anyway, you're gonna trace Matt Man and notice how each one of these Matt Mans in the pictures has a different um, shape as the body. And so it's kind of hard to see, but you'll be able to see it better on your 
your page, okay? And when you're done, please tell somebody with you, an adult or an older brother or sister, all the shapes on the body part, okay? To practice your shapes. So that's page 63, and you also get to do page 72 and 73 today. This is kind of like a review, okay? 72, 73, what do you see? Do you see all the alphabet? I do. Okay, so have somebody read this to you, okay? It says capital and lowercase letters. Try these activities, use them with other letters. Find a capital A and a lowercase a. Do they look alike? Okay, have somebody read these to you. D, duck, starts with D. What sound does D make? Find the mouse in the picture. Mouse starts with, find V, what comes after V. So do those one at a time, have somebody help you. And then we would like you to take something sharp, like a pencil, um, colored pencil, or maybe even a marker, and see if you can trace all your letters. Start with A, go in order, okay? Just like the alphabet song, which you've been practicing, I know. Start with A, remember when we're writing and drawing, we go always start on the left, we go all the way to the end, okay? Once you've traced your capital and lowercase g, go to the next line, on the left, of course, just like we read and write, okay? Awesome job. You guys are getting so good at your letters. We're so proud of you and can't believe it's almost time for you guys to go to kindergarten. Are you getting excited for kindergarten? It's almost summer and then after summer, you're gonna go to kindergarten and wow, you're growing up so fast and you're getting so smart and we miss you so much. Okay, so after you do your handwriting pages, remember there's two pages, you get to do an activity, something today that starts with the letter D. Hmm. Let's think for a minute. Hmm. What are some things that start with the letter D that you could do? Hmm. D, you have any ideas? D -d oh, you could put on some music and dance. Do you guys like to dance to fun, happy music? Dance, see my D? Dance, what else could you do? Hmm. Actually, you could dance to one of the songs I'm gonna put on the post today. There's a fun uh, butterfly song that you get to watch today. Hmm. Oh, what about this? You could use crayons, colored pencils, markers to do it. Draw. Is this backwards? I hope it's not backwards for you. Draw, you can draw. That's another thing that starts with D. Ooh, you could drink lots of water because water is so good for you drink lots of water hmm. those are some ideas so have fun today and um happy thursday and happy almost weekend and we'll chat with you later this week guys bye